Hey Ben, guess what I got for us today? More week old pizza? No, not more week old pizza. Today we've got spoons! That was very underwhelming. <laughs> so after doing the video on the jaw harp, it got me thinking, what is the most redneck instrument out there? And I can't play a banjo. And then I suddenly thought about playing the spoons. And I thought people just played them with, you know, regular old spoons. But then I gave it an Amazon and I found this contraption. It just came in simple, clear packaging. And uh, uh, that is literally just two spoons strapped to a piece of wood. How much was this? I don't think that these were particularly cheap and I feel a bit ripped off as it is literally just two spoons lodged inside a piece of wood. And there's even a bit of like paint or glue residue. And also the spoons look like they were bought at a charity shop. I don't think there's really much presentation in this. But let's not judge it too harshly just yet. I mean, it could have a very unique sound, which I'm gonna fall in love with, which I highly doubt, but you never know. So let's try and work out how to play this thing. You're bad at this. How to play the spoons. The spoons are what a drummer does at a party when there's a bunch of guitar players around. What a great explanation that was. All right, now I'm definitely feeling ripped off because all these videos on YouTube saying how to play the spoons are literally just people holding two spoons in their fingers. Whereas I went ahead and spent a premium cost getting two spoons lodged in wood. Don't be a lemon, just use your own spoons. It's an easy instrument, anybody can play it. That is very, very comforting news. Uh, this guy's rubbing it in now. So after watching three minutes of a six minute long video, I think I know how to play the spoons now. Also, after giving the instrument a quick wiki, apparently this is used not just for American folk music, but for British folk music, Irish folk music, Russian folk music, Turkish folk music. It's pretty much a worldwide instrument. So if you have two spoons lying about, you can do this. It's literally just a percussion instrument. There's nothing crazy about it. You're literally just making a noise and that is Literally it. Nothing more to this instrument whatsoever. You don't get any country twang like you do with a jaw harp or a banjo. It is literally just for percussion. That's it. I mean, it's a very, very basic instrument. Now, as I've just learned that this is also used for Irish folk music, I'm gonna go ahead and play it over a bit of Irish folk because how can you hate Irish folk music? You can't, and if you do, get out. Ben, I can't stop the spoons, they're taking over! What is river dancing? I think I got a bit out of hand. When playing this instrument, I could not tell if I was playing it correctly, if it even sounded right, or I was just playing it god awfully. But I mean, what did it sound like to you guys? Ben, did it sound any good to you? I'll have to consult my local spoon expert. I'm sure you've got plenty of those. <laughs> now, as I said before, you don't need to run out and buy a contraption like this if you want to be able to play the spoons. You can just get any old two spoons and learn to play it that way. But the one good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about your hand positioning. You can just pick it up and go and play. Whereas if you get two spoons, you need to work out your hand positioning. You need to make sure the spoons are bent correctly. There is a little bit of technique to be had there. But honestly, after an hour of practice, you will probably get that down anyway but if you really want to rush into it go ahead and buy something like this but you really do not need a special contraption like this if someone who plays the piano yes it's called a pianist yes someone who plays a guitar it's a guitarist yes it's someone who plays the spoons a spoonist I mean, that sounds like a criminal offence. <laughs> and with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and I've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Also, if you want to support the channel further, you can support us on Patreon. Just hit the link right here.